everybody and welcome to Business World in the Classroom. My name is Michelle Grakowski and I'm the director of the Wisconsin Business World Program. I'm excited to talk to you today about business leadership. This segment is Business Leadership 101. All right, let's talk about the pillars of a strong business. In every business, no matter what business it is, there are, there are some strong pillars that you need in order to make the business be successful. Um, first, as an entrepreneur, you need to have the idea, right? The second is your CEO. That's the leader of your company, and that's what we're gonna be focusing on today, is that CEO piece. All right, qualities of a good CEO. CEOs are strong leaders. They always see the big picture. They're really organized because they have so many things that they're juggling on their plate. So they have to make sure that they're getting everything done and handled. The biggest thing, they create a really strong culture within their organization. So a good CEO understands their employees and knows how to make everything seem really good at work so that they want to come to work, they want to engage, they want to be challenged. And the way they do that is by listening. Right? Good CEOs listen and hear what's happening around them. And they're super creative and they come up with fun, unique, creative ways to grow their business. What is leadership? Leadership is a way um, a good leader empowers people. They empower the people around them. To, they inspire them. I'm super lucky. My boss here at the um, WMC Foundation is probably the most empowering person that I've ever met. Um, Wade Goodsell, he just he knows how to um, inspire us, you know, and to make us want to be better. Um, and he does that by just listening and coming in and saying, "What can we do?" and always treating us like we're a team. So good leaders don't act like they have more like power or that they're, you know, or that you have to listen to them. They're not authoritative. They're more compassionate and they want to, they really try to draw that connection to inspire and to empower. And they lead change. Okay. So the biggest thing in business, which we've talked about, if you've watched that segment is innovation. Innovation is what really makes a company thrive or it also can kill a company if you're not innovating. Good leaders innovate. They're always leading in that change. They're thought leaders and they're coming up with new ways to grow, new directions. And they share that vision with everybody within their organization. So everybody feels like what they're doing is important and everything that they're doing is moving that mission forward. So what's the big picture and why is it so important? Because I mentioned that, you know, um, that good CEOs always see that big picture. Well, because it's not just about the bottom line. It's not just about profit loss. The big picture is the whole organization. It's the health of the whole organization. And that can be employee culture. That can be, um, again, through um, the, how viable the, the business is, if it's growing, if it's not. That's through people. It's through good teams. They need to see the big picture so they can understand the best way to fix it and to keep innovating and to keep growing. Good CEOs know their teams. This slide is kind of interesting because it talks about generations. You guys are Gen Z um, and I'm a Gen Xer, right? So the things that I've seen in my life are very different than the things that you're going through right now. When I was growing up, um, the Atari was like the, the, the really cool gaming system, you know, and we were just playing with a little joystick. And now when I sit down and play with my son and he's playing the Xbox with this crazy controller with all these buttons, I'm like, I don't even know what's going on, right? Every generation has different experiences that they're bringing into the workforce. In your lives, every generation has something different that they're bringing into your school, into your clubs, into your organizations. Your teachers are going to have different experiences than what, you, than what you're experiencing now. Your older brother and sisters are going to be experiencing things way different than what you are. So think about that. Whenever you're meeting people, be curious and ask them. You know, Find out about their experiences. They may be different than yours. That doesn't mean that they're wrong. You know, but they may see the world in a different way just because they've experienced things so differently. A good CEO in a business can look at this and they, they use those strengths and figure out ways so that people can communicate and learn from each other. Good CEOs know the value of a team because without a strong team, you can't grow. Think about any sports teams that you've been involved in. Think about a really good coach 
right? Somebody who's super inspirational that you just want to go out and you want to hit that softball as hard as you can because it's going to make that coach just go out of their mind. Um, my daughter, when she was in middle school, uh, she played basketball and I was um, lucky to co-coach with another um, gentleman who was just phenomenal at that. He knew how to rally our girls. He would sit there in the middle of the game and he'd get down and he'd pound on the ground and he would scream and the girls just loved him because he was just so animated. You know what it takes to be a good leader right? Look for that in everything that you do. Look for that good leader. Learn from your leaders that you're watching and model yourself after their behavior. Good CEOs write down their goals. They figure out goals, right? They figure out the important goals because Again, every business needs to keep growing. And so you need to have not just a goal for today. My goal is I want to make sure I answer all my emails. Great goal, right? But then what's your goal five years down the road and 10 years down the road? They're visionaries. They're thinking about how they want to grow. And the important thing about goals, when you guys are setting goals for yourselves, okay, you may set a goal that your goal is you want to get a 29 on the ACT. And that is such a great goal, right? You want to hit that 29. But here's the thing. You're not 100% in control of getting that 29, right? There's external factors. There's the test. Maybe you're having a bad test day. There's things that could happen that you may not hit that 29. But you can set goals to get to that point. You can say, you know what, in order to get to that 29, I'm really gonna have to buckle down on my chemistry because yeah, that's a little bit difficult, so I'm gonna buckle down and I'm gonna work really hard and every day I'm gonna spend a half hour learning this piece. And so you can get better at that so you're prepared for that test. So set attainable goals that you can check off and then, and, but go for those aspirational goals as well and write them down, okay? It's been proven that people that write down their goals are 30 times more apt to actually hit those goals. So write them down. I, have, I run my own business. I have a business plan that I revamp every year just so I know where my vision is and where I wanna go. Um, for business world, I do the same thing. I have a plan. You know, I have a program guide, I live by it, and then every year I revamp that program guide so I can add new programming and figuring out, figure out new ways to reach into you guys. So always think about that and write down those goals because then you can go back and it's a check and balance thing. You can be like, yep, I hit it. Oh, no, I didn't. So what do I need to do to hit that goal? And finally, you guys, leadership. Okay, I want you guys to think about every day how you can grow your leadership traits within yourself. Again, think about those coaches. Think about those teammates. Think about your friends that inspire you. Think about those, the teachers, your parents, anyone around you that you can look up to and be like, you know what, if I'm having a bad day, that's a person I want to talk to. Know that team. Find that person. Be that person for somebody else. Okay, there's so many ways to grow your leadership, and the biggest way is just by being empathetic and listening and helping. So find ways to, to, to do that. And again, set those goals. And if you don't hit them, it's okay. You know what? The, the, the best part about life is that there's always going to be things that you want that you're not going to be able to get. But there's always a reason for it. And there's new ways that you can move forward to try to hit those goals. So write down those goals, be a strong leader, and learn leadership qualities every day.